Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. What secrets are you keeping from me? Mm -hmm. What secrets am I keeping from you? You don't want to know. For my subscribers that needed to vent, I made a Google form and posted about it saying, send me your biggest secrets. And I am here to read these anonymous secrets and we'll just have a little talk about them. When I was little, me and my mother shared a notes page. So if I wrote something in my notes, it would appear on her phone. Okay, that's kind of cute. Just a nice way to like pass notes back and forth. I love you, mom. Love you, mom. If I wrote something in my phone, it would appear in hers. So the big dramatic plot twist was that she wrote a note not knowing I would see this, saying that she was only with my father for my brother and I. You're telling me that you and your mother had a shared notes page and she wrote down a bit of a monologue about how she doesn't like your father anymore and is only with him to make your lives better and that wasn't on purpose? <laughs> what do you mean? Later on in this, the person says that they never told their mom and uh, their brother doesn't know either. So that's good. That's great. Next one. I slept with my boyfriend's roommate and best friend. Okay, the wording here is a little tricky. I slept with my boyfriend's roommate and also the boyfriend's best friend. So you slept with two people total or it's one person. His roommate is also his best friend. I would like to believe that it's just the roommate, you know? <laughs> Your boyfriend had maybe a head cold, took a few too many Sudafed, was knocked out cold in his bed. You needed somebody to warm you up and you f***ed his friend. <laughs> now, I don't know the context between your relationship and blah, 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 blah. But wow, that's interesting. I got two Taylor Swift tickets and told my sister I didn't so I could take my best friend instead. Reese, if you see this, no, you didn't. You named your sister out loud. You named your sister. I actually got three tickets to one of the Taylor Swift shows in Massachusetts for Hannah and her little sister and I. So I guess you could say that I'm the greatest. If I had a fourth, I would take Reese as well. You are the asshole. Here's one of my favorites that I read the very beginning of when I was screening these. My dogs have killed three neighbor cats. Maybe four. I don't know. My dad hides the bodies, either burying them or throwing them over the fence because there's a lot of construction so it's an easy cover-up and i genuinely have no idea what to do because i keep seeing missing cat messages in the neighborhood group chat help please i'll give you a little step-by-step -step on what to do so i would say look up what your dogs can't eat Okay, for example, chocolate, I've heard like grapes, red meat, and um, feed them that for the rest of their lives. What are you talking about? Killed three, maybe four neighbor cats. Also, hey, dad, do a better job throwing them over the fence. What are you talking about? You should have thrown those dogs over the fence years ago. I've given a guy a hand job, but I've never had my first kiss. I'm going to be honest, you're kind of slaying. Just like a kiss is a lot of commitment, but I will jerk you off to completion and it won't mean anything. <laughs> That's pretty great. Great. It says, I think I might have a crush on my best friend of seven years. Don't do it. Hey, don't do it. Unless you're prepared to lose that friend, don't do it. Step back, you know, if you've got a lot of friends, unlike me, and you can afford to lose this friend, then say, hey, you, me, we'll uh, bump tummies. But also, if you can't lose this friend, then don't say anything and just lust about them in your bed at night by yourself. I plotted my mother's murder when I was a young teen. Our relationship has greatly improved since then, though. LMAO. I wish that I had more context. You know what I mean? Like some of these people have sent the craziest things I've ever read. And then we'll just be like, yeah, sorry, LMAO. I want to know more. What do you mean? How did you plot your mother's murder? And you said it was when you were a young teen. Were you going to kill your mom or were you going to hire a hit? Because that would be amazing. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm 13 years old, but I've got people. They can clean stuff up. If you know what I mean? My cousin and I have been dating each other since we were 10. This is a secret confession. You know what? I'm glad. I'm going to be honest, I am so glad that this is a secret confession because that should not go anywhere. Now, I look at my analytics on YouTube and I don't see many people from Alabama, Texas, you know, all the states where that's normalized. But I have so many other questions. How old are you now? Do you plan on getting married? What are your kids going to look like? <laughs> I ate a lot of dirt and would chew rocks when I was like eight. Literally no one knows. And I have stomach problems. You ate rocks and dirt. What? How do you have like an intact stomach? When you get a colonoscopy, it's going to look like an archaeological dig. There's going to be so many crystals and rocks up there. So basically, I was about six to seven years old when I had learned what sex was. I would look up some video on Pornhub when my mom and dad left out and grandma was at work. Get on the floor and dry hump my adult size King Julian plus. Well, to be honest, uh, some of these I'm pretty ashamed of reading because I think that I've had like an original childhood experience, but no, people just copy me in every way. I think you're cute, winky face. Thank you. I'm glad that makes one of us. When I was younger, I used to stomp on snails in the garden because I didn't like them. So you're just going to stomp on things that you don't like? Is that your way of coping with things? You stomp on snails? You've 
caused a snail genocide. Thank you very much. Now that snails are extinct, I think we know who to blame. I have a collection of my own toenail clippings. I'm an objectively attractive young woman, and maybe one day I'd sell them if I was ever desperate for cash. Now listen, if you come into my Google form and say, I'm an objectively attractive young woman, I've got a lot of questions. First off, I either don't believe it or I really believe it. Like you're very into yourself or you're joking. It's going to be one of those, but with the collection of your own toenail clippings, I don't know what to believe. I tell everyone I don't like bananas, but I secretly do. I feel like that's Hannah. Hannah was called Hannah Banana for most of her life. And she was like, I don't like bananas, actually. We know that you like bananas. It's okay. You can come out as a banana lover and the fruit, not anything else. I like another guy and don't know how to tell my boyfriend. Leave him. Don't lead him on a little bit more. And also, Hannah, you don't have to sign off on this. This is supposed to be anonymous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, leave the guy as soon as possible. Let the guy have some chance to rebound and date your sister. I'm bald and everyone thinks I have hair and that my name is Evelyn. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm bald and everyone thinks I have hair and that my name is Evelyn. It's not. Are you Bruce Willis in witness protection? I'm a 21 year old woman and I've never been in a serious relationship. I've never had sex and I don't want to because I hate how women are treated in most sexual relationships and because of some traumatic shit. I don't know if I'm the problem. I'm scared that if I don't get experience soon, then no one will want to date me because I'm an inexperienced virgin in my mid to late 20s, but I also don't want to lower my standards and do something that would hurt me. Okay, listen. Now, when I was really sick, I never, ever, ever thought that I could be in a consistent relationship who would want to sign up to basically be a caretaker. And at the time, there was no hope. So people believed that I would be sick my entire life. You're 21. I think, to be honest, I don't think that anybody's going to not want to date you because you're a virgin. I think that it's healthy to have standards. I think that the right person will come literally and figuratively. I think as long as you're patient, then you'll be okay. Okay, this one is going to be a good one. My former boss, longtime family friend, screwed me out of a promotion. Motion. She had me doing the work of an assistant manager without the title or pay for a year. I confronted her about it and she gave every excuse, claimed I should feel privileged that she gave me work experience, said a real friend would not be putting her in this position, etc, etc. A year later, I met her son, 24, for the first time when he began working at the same place I did. I immediately knew what I had to do. I decided to sleep with him since I knew he was her favorite out of her four children. I played the long game and I achieved my goal. <laughs> Wow, my followers are uh, petty. Five months later, we're still hooking up pretty regularly, and I'm starting to see a future with him. No one else knows besides him and I, and you, and he's asked me if we can make our relationship official. However, I think it would be funnier if I just showed up as a date to his Thanksgiving dinner and announce it that way. Oh boy. Well, Thanksgiving's passed, and wow, do I need a follow-up. Holy shit. What a great way to end that. Hey, can you pass the potatoes? Also, I'm 69ing your son. Awesome. So good. It's a good way to introduce yourself to your mother-in-law. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any secrets or confessions, click the link in the description below. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. Also, check out my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness. Never stop. The links to both of those will be in the description below. I just sent out my signed Polaroids that I send out monthly to my top tier patrons patrons and I'm coming out with a new never stop design very soon. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting me and I'll talk to you later.